Surely there are no laughs here. Dude, we're having a mental health awareness week. Yeah, that's great. What's sad is that we freaking need one. Look around you. Look at what's happening in funding. Our attitudes to mental health are so backward, they're the equivalent of still applying leeches to the scrotum of someone with syphilis. Or putting a menstrual woman in a shaming shed because it's her dirty time of the month. Into the shaming shed, Elizabethan woman. Our awareness of mental health needs ramping up. If it didn't, we wouldn't still be lumping everything together in a massive category called mental health. It's unthinkable we could have this attitude to bodily health. Doctor, I've noticed this really bad lump. I'm vomiting, I'm passing out, and I feel like pressure, like there's something growing inside me. Yes, what you have there is you have a problem with your physical health. Good luck. People just don't take mental health seriously enough. One in four people will be affected with mental health issues during their life. Yet do you know how much funding it attracts for research? While cancer attracts 1,500 pounds per person, mental health doesn't even attract 1% of that. Uh, doctor, lately I've been hearing voices, I've been feeling down, and for the last 486 days, I've fantasized about suicide. Really? Well, here's a shiny tuppence. People are the least visible, the least vocal. That's why the crow Theresa May doesn't give a toss. <coughs> are you agoraphobic? <coughs> Problems with depression? Feel like you can't share? Good! You won't be able to vote for anyone else. <laughs> the more we raise awareness of mental health, the more we talk about it, guess what? the less shame, stigma, and fear there'll be around it. People accommodate people with physical disabilities. People have empathy. People make space. And that's the way it freaking should be. But when you can't see an illness, a wound, a disease, for some reason, we're locked in the Middle Ages. Help me, sire, for I have most likely been down. What does my healer recommend? The old crone is affected by a malady of hot brain and devil thought. I recommend exclusion in a bedsit somewhere in Tottenham. This year, in Mental Health Awareness Week, there's an even more important message. The difference between surviving and thriving. This is one Theresa May does not want you to think about. Let me ask you a question. <coughs> is the person dead? <coughs> well, shut up then. <coughs> Share your shit. We need to stamp on the British attitude. You don't air your dirty laundry in public. Air it! I want to see the shitty rags hanging out of the window this week. That's what Mental Health Awareness Week is about. Don't listen to the likes of Piers Morgan telling everyone to man up. No one deserves to die of Britishness. A stiff upper lip shouldn't lead to botulism. Flap those upper lips. Share your mental health issues. Talk to people about it. If you've got a son, a cousin, a brother who's ill, don't hide it. Don't dip your head at a dinner party. Schizophrenia is as valid as cancer. If you're really disappointed with the way the people that run this country treat mental health, Health, do something about it. And most importantly, this Mental Health Awareness Week, take your dirty laundry and post it through Piers Morgan's letterbox. Happy Monday.